Hey everybody, this could very well be the biggest haul of all time on this channel. You can probably guess what it is behind me. Let's do this. Hi everybody, welcome back to A Week in Geekdom. It's a little bit echoey, don't worry about it. We'll fix that later, but what's important is that yes, A Week in Geekdom 3.0, if you will, uh, has officially begun this month of uh, September. I hope you enjoy the next batch of, or the next phase of this channel. As we keep progressing, we keep moving forward. Of course, the whole uh, hurricane thing, uh, it was a confusing, absurd ridiculous frustrating year but you know what i'm just gonna say two things mother nature will throw everything at you and you just have to survive because you can't really do much and to put the blame on people it's a little absurd because uh we're only human is what i'm getting at you know people make mistakes we learn we grow we get uh better it's it's that type of situation so it upsets me when i see people complaining and fighting and arguing let's all just try to get along as best as we can because there's only one go at this this whole life thing so yeah that, those are my two cents i don't want to get too much in depth if you know what i'm talking about you know if not don't worry about it this is the September haul of 2018. New shelves, got that uh, Kalex or Calyx, whatever you want to call them, action going from Ikea, as well as some Billies and Detolves and all that stuff, but that will be shown at a later time. Uh, but for now, you know, the collection, the books are safe, collectibles, all that fun stuff so we can keep the ball rolling. I thank you for withstanding a whole, almost a year of me sitting on that old set quote unquote set but it was just me sitting on the floor for a year talking about stuff there was nowhere else i could shoot that i was comfortable with so that was the only thing available and hey it worked a lot of people came in and they probably said that is the most pathetic thing ever but hey it was i guess it was fun in the mayhem and and chaotic nature of it all it, it was fun and it's certainly this channel i should say certainly helped alleviate some of that frustration pain anger and sadness and um and yeah I, I will be forever thankful i don't have a solid internet connection so i cannot participate with the omni bros i know a lot of people are uh waiting on that i'm, I'm sort of that sixth guy that's never there but i work behind the scenes in the channel i maintain the channel going uh, along with my friend gabe infinity watch we keep the uh, instagram running i do the thumbnails and all that stuff so if you've been wondering what my participation with the omnibus collectors network that's sort of it i work behind the scenes for now eventually hopefully uh very very soon i can be on the show with the rest of the guys they're like uh, uh the brothers i wish i had because they are amazing human beings and i will be forever thankful uh, for their acceptance and their friendship and just the overall uh, uh, love that's in there even though uh, they'll not they won't admit it but it's just a fabulous uh, time there's also one thing i want to clear up and it's that a lot of people have arrived from said network the omnibus collectors network and are joining this channel as well so thank you so much if you're new to this channel two things one every month i do a haul video and two it's not this channel is not a hundred percent about comic books it, it's more about the geek life and the geekdom if you will hence the name of the channel and uh, when it first started back in 2011 with my friend brian by the way he was the one that gave this channel this idea a name i wanted to call it something completely different uh, he suggested the title and i said it's a little strange but people will remember strange things you know anyways i made the channel with the idea of being a podcast 
and uh, and do like a weekly episode with a week's worth of information on one episode. That was my goal. Unfortunately, hosting and all that other crap is kind of expensive, especially when you make little to no money. So I had to quit it and turn this into a web show on YouTube. It was a podcast, then it turned into a web series or whatever. And a few people helped me out along the way. They eventually left to pursue other things more important. Uh, But I continued because I enjoy entertaining you guys and talking about my favorite things and talking about movie reviews or books or comics, uh, uh, anime, uh, video games, all that stuff. I love talking about that. Collectibles, I love it. I love unboxing stuff for you guys, etc, etc. So when I started doing this thing uh, solo, uh, yeah, it, 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 I couldn't get to the movie stuff for some reason. And I decided to focus mostly on books because that I could read and do like a cool little video for you guys rather quickly. Whereas a movie, I would have to take the time to go actually to go to the theaters and see said movie and then uh, write something up. And, uh, you know, this is more of a hobby passion project. So, yeah, I focused uh, for the last year and a half more on books than anything else. So maybe a lot of people... Uh, They went in expecting, oh, it's a cool comic book uh, channel. It's more about the geek lifestyle. Comic books, manga, anime, games, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's a sort of a little PSA. Because I love looking at the numbers. Whenever I put out a video that's not comic book related, a lot of people will leave. And then a couple days later, they'll get back on the... A we can geek them hype train if you will i don't know if it's an algorithm thing i don't know if it's just uh people that are undecided if they want to stay or not it's okay i really don't mind but i am forever thankful for the uh, loyal subscribers that have been here since day one and the numbers keep growing i'm very excited it's a slow burn but it's worth it i think in the long run uh thank you thank you so much and for everybody that's stuck around especially for the last year you are amazing and i love each and every one of you thank you so very much with all of that said with that long ass introduction let's do a haul book wise i didn't really get anything just two books but for the they were late august by the way but for the month of september itself none of the orders arrived i think there were like three orders with some omnis thrown in there and hardcovers and all that stuff so uh, next time i'll show you next time don't worry about it but i did get some late august books that i wanted to highlight one of them being uh clean room volume three so i can finally finish the series and do like a proper series review on gail simone's uh, uh clean room it is the last volume and I got this huge thing right here. Fantastic Four, Behold Galactus. This was a hilarious uh, journey because the post office did not believe that this huge book, like in the box that it came in, it was pretty massive and epic. They didn't believe it was a book, so they're like, we're gonna have to charge you for the media mail cost. I'm like, what are you talking about specifically? It turned out, you know, they were wrong. It was a book. I said, you know, uh, they, they wanted to open the uh, open it and inspect it because apparently Media Mail is reserved strictly for uh, books and stuff. They didn't uh, think there was a book inside. I'm like, whatever, just open the thing. It's a book. I don't care. They opened it and behold, Galactus. This thing is massive. It is beautiful. I did sort of like a quick little video on it on my Instagram for a week and geek them if you want to check it out. But what the hell, I'll open it. Here's the back cover. You can also check out multiple videos from other YouTubers. Can you? Yeah. It's too big. <laughs> but it's awesome. It's all the Galactus um, stories in a massive epic format and as a huge novelty piece it is excellent a lot of people have fantastic four omnis the stan lee stuff with jack kirby uh, john byrne etc etc i have a few i don't know if you can see them right there that's me uh, the uh, fantastic four uh cube and uh yeah a lot of stuff it's old material but it, it's the novelty factor i guess of a gigantic book with awesome 
Kirby illustrations and they look beautiful. So that's it for books. That was a very small haul. My the tiniest haul of, of, of books that I've ever done on this channel. But I did get some other cool stuff. Uh, manga wise, I got Ancient Magus Bride Volume 7 and 8. I'm on Volume 6 and the series is astonishing, beautiful, and just very wholesome. I cannot wait to finish all the material that's being published. I think Volume 9 just came out and then it goes into an infinite hiatus. I might be wrong and there's like a guidebook or two guidebooks that I'm missing or encyclopedia or something. I want to get those so that I can do a series analysis, discussion review, something about Ancient Magus Bride, but it is really good. The other epic thing that I got, uh, this box is empty, but I think you'll dig it. I have been wanting this for, uh, for a while now, I should say, and I finally got it. It is a Nintendo Switch of my own, because when it first came out, I wanted to hold out on it. I wasn't sure. The games looked amazing. I knew they were great, but I wanted to wait for some reason, and I told a friend of mine, I will not get a Switch until these guys announce a uh, Metroid Prime 4 series game or whatever. Yeah, E3 2017, first thing I see in that Nintendo uh, presentation, Metroid Prime 4. I'm like, oh, you you getting a Switch now, son. So, yeah, I, I've been playing around with it and it is fantastic. Got this as a birthday gift uh, recently and... Um, it's great. I love the Switch. Um, I'm going to show you a couple games as well that I got for said system. I did get uh, Breath of the Wild. I think this is required. Uh, if you own a Switch, this is a must own. And I got Sonic Mania Plus. Love me some Sonic and it's so nostalgic to play that game. I don't know. It's awesome. For the PlayStation 4, two games that uh, people really like, God of War, finally, on PlayStation 4, and the, uh, this little indie title that people seem to be raving about, Spider-Man on PlayStation 4. So that's it. That is the uh, haul for uh, September 2018. Guys, thank you so much. I already said it at the beginning, but screw it, I'll say it again. Thank you so much. You are amazing thank you uh, also like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are showing up on that awesome feed of yours follow the omnibus collectors network as well as the individual channels follow the shows all that stuff it's it's such a great time to be a part in this community and we're really building this awesome niche that i am so happy that you right there at home could be a part of so yeah give this show a like and subscribe and all that stuff follow me on your favorite social media platform facebook instagram twitter etc etc and i'm there i'll chat with you guys so i have got to go i've got some reading to do and i will do more videos for you guys very soon so thank you so much and i will catch all of you on our next episode